Mixtapes are my favorite phase of hip hop and R&B artists. There is an ambition present in the free download that is incredibly unique and distinct, as opposed to the polish and finance works from the mainstream artists. The creative freedom, sampling, and attempted originality are the driving forces behind those projects and help build fan bases for artists like The Weeknd, who thrived in 2011 when he released the trilogy of mixtapes House of Balloons, Thursday, and Echoes of Silence. House of Balloons was my favorite of the bunch and packed a punch to the listener. The dark tones and mysterious atmospheric production allowed for me to get lost in time and space. There is a lifestyle here built on damaged love and substance abuse, influencing thoughts and motive. The moody lyrics and expression of loneliness in a crowded, inescapable world provided a lush but surreal experience. Songs like What You Need, Wicked Games, and The Morning. This continued on Thursday and Echoes of Silence. It was a time when The weekend was more concerned with communicating his feelings through the microphone and created a world inside his mind rather than worrying about his appearance and pop appeal. Many reviewers made the mistake of citing the trilogy as a release from a group. It would be safe to assume so because in an age where the internet provides us with endless information, Abel was able to get away with being anonymous and had the freedom to express himself, whoever the weekend was. Then came Monday. What I didn't know about the Toronto native and EXO artist suddenly became what everyone was talking about. He gained popularity from the masses. With appearances on Ariana Grande's album My Everything on Love Me Harder and singing Earned It for the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack, it was evident that The Weeknd made it to the mainstream. But that is what was so surprising. His early career bout with fame and comfort with staying hidden was traded for the spotlight. This can be seen on Beauty Behind the Madness and Starboy, both releases which were musically great but lost a step in my eyes. He became a pop icon, and that's not a bad thing at all. He was making hits, exceeding with massive radio airplay on Can't Feel My Face, The Hills, Often, and Starboy. He was recognized with accolades and had the opportunity to work alongside some of the best in the music business, including Ed Sheeran, Lana Del Rey, Daft Punk, Kendrick Lamar, and Future. His astronomical rise was also his fall. It was a misstep. His core fan base shrugged at his recent releases, and it was only a matter of time before he went back to the beginning. How would he do it, and would his new fans follow? My Dear Melancholy is the extended play released on Friday by The Weeknd. It consists of six tracks and a throwback to his old sound and feel. Now, this is not to say it's a full return by any means, but it is a smart release. He is appealing to his early supporters and getting back to his roots, but also incorporates elements from his mainstream with guest contributors in Daft Punk, Skrillex, and Gus Alphastein. Try Me and I Was Never There are standout performances from the EP. Although it isn't packaged like House of Balloon, Days when The weekend was a game-changing newcomer, he can't escape himself, even when he gets to travel the world as a festival headliner. He nonetheless articulates his feelings through pain and sorrow, crooning into the night. I miss this. Who do I have to thank? Selena? Bella? Regardless, I loved every minute of this nostalgic trip, and I pray for more of this from The weekend. For The Real Deal, I'm Rob Segovia.